Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. Hope you all are doing well and staying safe. We all are in good health by the grace of God. I love doing crafts and it's been so long since I've done any. I had many ideas going through my mind. And due to very busy schedule with kids exams and other, I wasn't able to get into a crafty mood. Craft works are my favorite hobby, especially doing craft from waste. But I need to be completely in a stress-free or in a peaceful mind to get the best out of waste. Today was such day. Early morning we had a visitor in our garden and that's a beautiful peacock. I had already put a story on my Instagram and even on YouTube. The first time I saw a peacock in our garden, it was such a pleasant sight to the eyes. And now we are used to this sight. But still, we get the same feeling as of seeing for the first time each time we see them. It was a weekday. Yes, kids had their online classes. I know I have to be with them, especially Arman, because he gets really very restless when he sits at a particular place for some time. So I have to be with him to make him active in the class, whatever being taught. I started the craft work in between their online class. That's when they have a break for 30 minutes. I got these from Amazon. Now if you don't want to buy this, you can cut round shapes from cardboards and prepare. Since I had only one cardboard and I wanted that for another craft, we'll show you that in some time. Along with the big ones, also bought coaster size ones. Now I had seen these type of wall decor crafts on Pinterest and even on some pictures in Google. Just try to recreate in my style. This is a simple craft but still you need a bit of patience to do it neatly. Drawing patterns on the disc using a pencil to get an outline or an idea on the design each disc need. Initially I thought it would be good if the patterns are same on every disc but then felt that imperfection is sometimes perfect. I drew almost same pattern on two discs and then changed. You don't have to think too much on the design or pattern. Draw whatever comes to your mind. It can be zigzag, shapes or any other. The idea here is to get the design seen with a glue gun so that when you paint, the pattern is projected and looks pretty. Use hot glue gun to draw the lines. So these are the different patterns. It's time to spray paint. Now I have used spray paint to make it faster and it's easy as well. You can also paint them with acrylic which takes a bit more time that's all. Here the combination I've taken is gold and black. I sprayed black on all the discs then later gently sprayed golden on it. It can be plain gold and plain black but blending both well gives a great look for a decor. And the combination of the colors depends on the interiors. Thank you. 
it's all dry now. We have the space above that was empty, so decided to put the decor over there. Using double sided tape to stick. I shall share the links of all the items I've used here in the description box. Do check out if you need them. I decided a rough look placing these discs on the ground, then as for that placed on the wall. I have my husband in the background to guide me the exact spot to place these discs. The middle one goes exact on the middle of the wall. And that was the final look. Another simple, commonly seen, yet elegant looking decor which I wanted to try from some time now. I don't know if you remember this clock which I had done spoon decor around. Those got damaged at the time of shifting and packing. So I had taken the clocks anyway because I wanted to do some craft with it. If you want to try the spoon clock craft, I shall share the link above or below in the description box. I actually got bored of spoon craft and wanted to try something else. I use skewers to place it up. If you are doing the spoon craft, you can take the spoon tails that was cut out and use for this purpose. Here just taking proper measurements to place the skewers. I have used a cardboard to place a clock and place the skewers around. Drawing rough lines will help to apply glue gun easily. I'm placing the skewers in two lines, that will give a sun look. I forgot to cut out the space to place battery, I should have done it at the very beginning. Applying glue gun on the clock to stick it. So that the spray paint doesn't spread on the glass of the clock, I'm just covering it. Here already some red paint is seen from the previous craft, not sure how it would look. Using gold spray paint. I had these tiny mirrors, so to give a good finish, stuck those mirrors on the skewers. Not in an order, just here and there. The glass looked untidy, so removed it. And then stuck it on the wall. This is in our dining area, above the wash basin. On the same day, we went to my in-laws for a stay over on the weekend. We have this little member in our family now. My youngest brother-in-law and co-sister are blessed with their second baby girl. All had a gathering to spend time together. 
Don't know what happened. I lost so many clips I had taken when staying there. Had to take some quick videos on the day we were leaving back home. Maybe I could take a complete video next time I go there. So that's all for today's vlog and I hope you all enjoyed. If so, do give a thumbs up so that I know you loved it. See you all with another video. Stay safe everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.